Hi, this is Ross Morrow with the Wispa Educational Committee. Here with another maintenance tip. Um, the tip for today is about hemping. Um, and hemping can be an extre extremely important part of your pipe maintenance. You notice on this old set, this uh, section of hemp on the tenor is spinning. Now that can make tuning more difficult. Or if your pipes aren't properly hemmed, they could be uh, losing a bit of air and be playing really inefficiently. So it's just overall really important to um, have a nice hemp job on your bagpipes. Um, so I just wanted to come with a couple of tips for you today. The first one is that um, when you're starting your hemp uh, on a certain joint, you notice the, that uh, pipes will have these little grooves. Now the intuitive thing to do is to just keep the hemp right in those grooves and sort of try to keep it every one going as you work your way down however i found that this just creates um, a nice groove spot for the hemp to sit in and that actually makes the spinning problem uh, a little bit worse so what i like to do is using as much force as i can without breaking the hemp i like to go in patterns that are just slightly um, angled and then I come back the other way, keeping the pressure as tight as I can, especially here at the start. Now going this way really helps to keep the hemp in place, keep it from spinning. And then as you start to fill up uh, the space for the hemp, you start to get a first layer on, then you can sort of... Uh, go down one way and back the other and fill in those rest of the grooves and again keeping it as tight as you can at first now an important part of hemping is once once you get close to the end on this joint um, the, it's a, almost tight but it needs a little bit more uh, when I start to get uh, feeling uh, the joint a little bit tight then I like to do what I call compressions in other words, I do a layer of hemp, back and down, and then I put the joint in. And what that does is it squishes down that layer of hemp, and it compresses the whole joint. Then I do another one, and I keep doing this several times, at least a half a dozen on a joint. Just going down, and I really make sure that that hemp gets compressed down. This helps you get a better seal that's going to last longer. If I don't do this compression method, then in a couple of weeks that joint is going to likely be loose because as you've played it and it's sat in there, the compression has happened. So you're just uh, doing that uh, step in advance and keeping that joint uh, more stable. Um, another trick for hemping is that when you're hemping the tuning slides, um, once you get those going and you start to make your compressions on the tuning slide, um, when you're compressing that hemp down, you want to keep that uh, spinning in one direction. And then when you pull it back out from the compression, you go in the opposite direction. Down and back. And you do all of your compressions that same way. And what happens is that's going to create a little bit of a, a memory in the hemp that allows you to use that joint as if it's sort of threaded so that I can go and while I'm tuning my drone all I have to do is twist instead of trying to lift or push down and then that's going to move either up or down depending on the way I'm spinning. Very helpful little tip for um, efficient tuning slides there. Um, and that's it for this tip.